have a lot of stuff everywhere. I have so much stuff to organize and to put away and to create. And I need to finally start doing stuff. This wedding is in like 10 days. And I've just been buying, I'm packing, I'm buying, I'm packing. And say I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this stuff together eventually. And now it's here. I'm out of time, I gotta do this stuff. This is my handy dandy notebook. Where I've been shipping notes on notes and lists and lists. You know I'm very good at writing lists. And lists and lists and crossing things off. And lists and lists and creating and crossing. And he thought he was done. And it's lists and lists. And lists and lists. And lists. And lists. And lists. And lists. And lists. And more lists. And lists. And lists. Is it finished? Has the notebook finished? No? It's still going? Wow, that looks so freaking delicious. What? So some of I saved you some. What is that? It's stir fry. Who made that? My future wife. Bon you hear that? Oh my gosh, 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 it is Tuesday, October 12th, 13th, 12th, I think. Anyways, the 15th is on Saturday and the 15th is the day that we're getting married. I don't even know where to begin. This video is basically just what it feels like to, to plan a wedding and go through a wedding planning. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. I always forget to say that. Give a thumbs up. Tell me what is the best day of your life. Was it your wedding? Was it not your wedding? Love to hear from you. I know somebody's watching, I think, so say hi or whatever. So I'm not just a creep doing this out here, you know. It is Wednesday and it's on Saturday. And so family's starting to come to town, friends are starting to come to town. So I'm like, I have to do this video now, otherwise I'm never gonna get a chance because it's gonna be pretty full around here for the next few days. It's just been incredibly difficult to do because I work freaking five days a week and then I have to do other things like cook food and go to the gym and wash my hair and clean up around, go to my family's house and watch TV and sleep and all the other things. And then on top of that, I had to also plan a wedding. And I knew it would be time consuming, but I am really ready for it to be done so I can have more of my free time back, right? It's stressful because number one, I don't think I was ever like, like I knew I wanted to get married and I knew I was going to get married eventually, hopefully at some point in my life, but I never really thought about the actual wedding part of it. I was more thinking about the life after it, you know, the family life after it. I wasn't the type of person who had a scrapbook at the age of 17 with all these different wedding ideas and things to do. So when I now find myself in a situation where I had to plan a wedding, I had to start basically from the beginning and figure out how to do all the stuff. There's a lot of things about a wedding that's just not my personality type. I was never someone who was super big on like color palettes, I guess, which is a wedding thing. I'm not really into the whole, um, glamour side of the festivities of a wedding. That's the, I'm not an aesthetics person. That's a good way to say it. I'm not an aesthetics person. A big part of a wedding is just aesthetics and I don't care about that. I don't really care so much about the Instagram vibe of things. People keep, kept, keep, continue to ask me all these questions about, oh, what are your colors? What about this? What are you gonna do for this? What about this? Are you doing this? Are you buying this? You should buy this. How about this? You should do this. And at a certain point, I become sick of it. I feel like people keep asking questions about aesthetics and logistics about aesthetics, and I don't care, and I hate the never-ending questions from people about that. The second thing about it is that I am an incredibly private person. Don't let this camera fool you. I am alone here in this room. There's no one else here besides me and the dog. And so that's why I'm having this conversation on the camera. It's like journaling. It's unfamiliar for me to have this many people communicating with me this consistently about decisions of my life. Like most of the stuff I do in my life, I would do independently. The decisions I've made, I've made them independently. And so now people ask me all these questions and then me having to negotiate with so many people about my life decisions is also new for me. I don't usually invite people into decisions about my life. And it's weird because people really feel like they have opinions and a say and a right to, because of the culture and setup of what a wedding is, right? And when I decide what I wanna do, that's what I'm going to do. And so I'm not used to people 
giving me opinions and expecting me to change my mind, if that makes sense. And one of those opinions is about the religious aspect of it. We are non-believers. We are the big A, the atheist. It is what it is. And like, I don't like pretending about it. And the life that Matthew and I have been building together, we, we don't pretend about it. And then now to all of a sudden have my family who's incredibly, you know, religious inserting their say into decisions about our, our wedding. Um, it's been frustrating to navigate that. I knew it was gonna be a thing. Um, but I was hoping I could just like slide slide through without it being a huge thing. Um, but now it's getting annoying because like I have the agenda, like I have this stuff and we don't want to include anything related to religious stuff, right? We just didn't want to have it, we wanted to have it be secular and not include a prayer and the whole, you know, the, the hymns and the, the Bible reading, all that kind of stuff, right? And so now there's a few individuals on that side who are like, well, we have to do a prayer at the beginning. And I'm like, no, we don't. We really don't have to. Every other situation in my life, I don't have control over in terms of that relig religious stuff, right? Not any situation in my entire life, any other family situation, I should say. They can do whatever they want to do and I participate and I go along with it and I never give any type of disturbance or interjection because it's not my business, it's their house, it's well, whoever's house, it's whatever, right? So on this specific occasion, it's like, it's our situation, it's our event, we are the ones funding it, this is how we would like it to go, and then to have that be met with, no, we're gonna, we have to insert this in there. It it does feel irritating to me that and it is a type of hill that I would die on. I'm trying to figure out how to move forward with this because I printed out my programs, did not include a prayer on the programs. They said, hey, we noticed that there's this absence of a prayer on this program. Let's put that in there. And I'm like, mm, no, I don't think that's gonna, that's gonna work. And now the question is why? Like, you know, we have to do this. And that's where it's at right now. On the one hand, I, I don't want to throw a tantrum, right? I don't want to throw a tantrum and say, this is my wedding and you're gonna do it my way and we have to do it like this. And I could just yell at everyone and say, we're gonna do it like this and storm out or, or whatever, right? I could throw a tantrum. Or I could just ignore the whole thing because I already have printed the programs. I, the, the event coordinator works for me. The officiant works for us. We can proceed as if we didn't hear anything. And then the ball would be in their court. Like, are they literally going to stop the ceremony and take the mic from the officiant and insist on a prayer? I feel like that's not the most likely situation to happen. Like, I don't think, maybe there's some family members, like we all got family members, right? And my family is very, is very Nigerian. They're very Igbo. So I am not, a hundred percent sure someone is not going to do that but i would be willing to take my chances on that but i mean if it happens then it would happen right because who wants that kind of disturbance at a wedding i don't like it it's wednesday now we have wednesday thursday we got a friday night dinner the question will come up again and in that moment i can more thoroughly address the question somebody has to shift either they're gonna say fine do whatever you want to do or I will have to throw a tantrum. But I feel an obligation to match you because we are having these discussions that we've had, we have talked about this and this is what we want to do and this is the life we want to live and all that kind of stuff, right? So I don't want to have to always compromise on what I've already said or the life I want to live just because of external forces, right? I know that sounds real heavy and it sounds a lot, but this has been playing out over like several weeks, my whole life. Ultimately though, the, the general vibe right now is very positive. This issue of the prayer thing, we gotta figure that out. Ultimately, very positive. I'm hoping for the best and hoping that the spirit of, of, of camaraderie overcomes them and they just decide to chill out. I'm hoping that COVID has chilled some people out because some people just need to chill out. And I'm hoping that they just let it be and come and eat food and drink alcohol like normal people and just be okay, you know? Just be okay. So not everything has to be a struggle. I have to like build this thing that makes most people, not everybody, but makes most people feel happy, I guess, which I guess is what I want. I do want people to have this feel, a, you know, a positive um, a vibe at this experience. But like in terms of planning, I'm like, why don't you just show up and enjoy whatever happens? <laughs> is that not easier? Is that not easier to show up and let it happen instead of versus trying to, um, you know, insert your own will and then being upset when that doesn't happen. That's weird, but that's just me. I just, I like low stress in my life. I broke my glasses. 
a couple weeks ago and I've been using duct tape like a nerd to hold it together and going to work like this and stuff because I just don't have the time to figure out how I'm not gonna go to America's Best and get new glasses. Not right now and so I'm gonna have to look like a dweeb. Fun part about this wedding is buying this stuff. I have never bought so many things online in a three month span. Like we have packages coming to the door every other day now. One of the silver linings of this process is that I get to spend money on stuff, which people think I don't like to spend money and I don't, but I don't like to spend money on myself on frivolous things, but I like buying things for other people. Financially, it's the most money I've ever shit out at one time in my life. I'm gonna do a video about the financial breakdown of everything that I bought. So I've been saving all the, the receipts and everything. So I wanna do a video summarizing every single thing we, every single penny we spent on this wedding and explain why and what it was for. So um, I'll do that video too. Yeah, what else, what else, what else, what else? I mean, I guess I was also gonna talk about how I, the idea of this wedding, I don't like it being um, all about me, despite what this camera might say and having a channel devoted to my life. I like slinking around in the background, in the shadows, lurking around, capturing footage, doing my own commentary on things. That's how I survive in social situations. It makes it more doable for me in those situations. And I'm already pre-strategizing how to just emotionally cope with all the stuff without losing my cool. Weddings are incredibly emotional things. All these social interactions and conversations and having to keep a positive attitude. I am not looking forward to the emotional toll of the day, for sure, for sure. And so I'm gonna have to cope with that, but also I, I, I'm gonna have to cope with it without the tool that I like, which is vlogging. I, it'll be harder for me to have my camera and do my side commentary and, you know, slink around and capture my shots when it is my wedding. <sighs> is there anything else? I'm trying to think, is there anything else about wedding planning or this part of my life that I want to capture. Matt and I, we're definitely going through the stress. Um, I think we're doing okay though. I think we're doing okay with communication and working through it. <laughs> I have been incredibly annoying the last handful of months um, for a lot of reasons and so definitely getting better at it but um, it's hard. It's definitely hard because I feel tired all the time. <sighs> I've been annoying. I've been annoying to be to be with for a little bit. We got a dance. We got a dance figured out, which was really fun. So I'm really excited about the dance. Um, hopefully we get a good footage of it. Remember when I used to do the five things series? Look at those ones. I think I'm gonna go back to that and do a five things I learned after being engaged, just because there's some political stuff and then just some emotional stuff and some other stuff about becoming engaged that I didn't know before, which I would like to do a video about. So stay tuned for that. Okay, I think that's all. Bye. This is the last time Matt will be locking the door as a single man. We're leaving. We're leaving our house as engaged couples. Coming back as a married couple. That has another ring too, though I might not use that one. That's the one, so. Got the new watch on too. <sighs> I wish us luck. I keep thinking I'm forgetting something, but it's our last time. Okay, how do you feel? Solid. Solid. Excited. I'm excited. Courageous. Courageous. Brave. Courageous. Girl scared. No, I'm not scared. scared. I'm just, I don't want hot nothing. Hot. No cold feet, hot feet. No cold feet, hot <laughs> feet, okay. All right, we'll see you later, bye. We just left this nail salon. By the way, I haven't even taken a video since everyone got here. Me neither. Nade's here, Jenna's here, Alita's here. Are you blogging? Yeah. <laughs> what do I do with this? <laughs> I don't know, keep going. Today's the store in the dollar store, but we're late though. It's five o'clock already. We haven't made the rehearsal dinner yet, so. I did my toes though. Look at that. And I did my nails, so we did something. Just Everyone so nice. gets white toe nails. <laughs> oh man, this rehearsal dinner supposed to start at 5. It's 6.13 right now. We just got in the car. And we're waiting for Jen to come out so we could get there. Somebody's anxious. 
I'm about anxious. getting married, about going to this reception. Somebody's anxious. I don't want to be late. I know. You're late. late. It's, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad.
Uh, hello, okay. So it's about 9.40 a.m. on October 15th, Saturday, October 15th, 2022. The big day, the wedding day. I mean, I don't, I don't know how I feel. I feel fine. A lot of people still ask me questions, but that's nothing new. I did this face mask. That's now. I feel like it's something you should do on a wedding day. The groomsmen dinner is a Friday night dinner. Yesterday we had a little dinner for friends and family and the bridal party to get together and meet each other and have some food. So that happened. This is our day and stuff, right? I feel like I'm not gonna be able to get as much footage as I normally would have gotten for a video. We do have a video on so hopefully maybe he'll give me either raw files I could do my own thing with, but we'll see. We'll still be at the venue at 10, um, which is a block away. So we're just getting ready. I just got ready and I guess I'll go over there and start the day and figure out what do you can do with these decorations and answer all these questions and get married at some point I guess. We're doing this, it's finally happening. Love you Matt. Matt, my family keeps calling him Matt. We are in law Matt. Nervous, I don't want anyone to get sick or hurt or anything like that. I would like everyone to be in good spirits. If I can, you know get through this day without crying multiple times and without uh, anyone beefing or anything like that, then I think that'll be a success. But yeah. Okay, bye.